What's up YouTube viewers, this is Eric from Beat Sonic. Today we have here a 2014 Lexus IS without factory navigation. We're gonna install our IF02 EP to allow for phone mirroring system so that we can phone mirror our Google Maps, Waze, um, even YouTube and all the other cool features um, your smartphone has to offer. Um, this is especially beneficial because this car does not come with navigation so we could utilize a factory screen for more functions. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the first step is to first remove the shift knob. You can easily do so by grabbing a hold of the leather boot, push it down gently, and just turn counterclockwise. Okay, store it in a safe location where you will not scratch it. And then the next step is to remove this panel and this panel. Simply grab a hold of a panel removal tool, pull gently, same thing for the other side. Very easy. Okay, the next step is to remove this and this using a Phillips screwdriver by turning counterclockwise. Once you have that removed, just gently pull it out. And I'm gonna do the same for this side. Okay, this is the Phillips screwdriver screw that you need to loosen it's only on the driver's side so just remember if you try to look for on the passenger side it's not there so let's unscrew this okay once the screw is removed stick your hand in here you'll feel that there's a shift lever lock press that button down and while holding it down change your gear to the bottom to either neutral or drive raise your armrest and gently Pull this center piece up. Okay, and after you, you remove the middle piece, there's um, three connectors that you need to disconnect. Next step is to remove these four 10 millimeter bolts. So grab your 10 millimeter socket wrench and one by one turn it counterclockwise and get it removed. Before you remove the head unit out, grab a hold of a really big blanket and just set it right here so that we don't scratch the radio. And grab a hold of the radio here and gently pull it towards you. Okay, once this is removed, the top side might come out together. Um, there's times you can pull the bottom one separately. And this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna connect those two wires. The following are the components that's included with the IF02 EP kit. Is everything you see on this side of the line. And if you wanted to mirror an Android device instead of an Apple device, then you will need to get um, a phone wireless phone mirroring system, such as the one you see here. This is the one by Netgear. It works great. We have tested it. But unfortunately, there are no wireless mirroring system for iPhones that we could find. So there's, um, this is how you mirror with to your Android device, and this is what you need to mirror to your iPhone device. So let me go ahead and go through each and one of these products um, with you. So as you can see, the connector on this video input piece and the DVD and navigation and motion piece is identical, so you can connect them ahead of time together and the other end of the RCA cable is going to connect to this male to male joint connector which is going to be connected to the HDMI to AV adapter double check to make sure the color codes do match so the white to white red to red and then the yellow to yellow Okay, and then on the other end of um, this HDMI to AV adapter, we're going to connect the, the HDMI male to male joint connector. And to power this HDMI to AV adapter, we're going to connect this USB cable to this USB socket. And this USB um, power is going to be connected on this bullet connectors to red to red and black to black 
And after all the components from the IF02 is connected, get a hold of your pro the products that you bought, you purchased separately. So here's the Lightning AV adapter. The Lightning AV adapter will connect to the other side of this HDMI male connector, which is gonna connect to the extension, Lightning cable extension cable, because this is too short to be able to route to the inside of the car. The other cable we have here is the Lightning charger cable. You simply connect it from the Lightning AV cable and the other end will connect to this USB. Okay, and the only thing left here is just this connector and this connector that is not plugged. So once we get in the car, we're gonna plug this behind the radio and whatever was plugged there before, we're gonna plug it here. We're gonna daisy chain it. Same for this plug over here. And there's also this ground wire that we need to ground on the side of this radio system. And then the button over here, there's an NP and TV. We're gonna wanna keep it on TV. Uh, for vehicles that have factory nav, this has to be accessible. So you're also gonna have to route this to where it is reachable from the driver's side. Um, because every time you want to bypass and do your phone mirror, you want it to be on TV. But when you're not phone mirror, you want to have it at MP so that your factory navigation will work without any issues or without the car being stopped on the map. But if you don't have a factory nav, you could keep it at TV and just tuck this behind the radio. Before we connect all the connectors behind the radio, I want to route this lightning extension cable first. Um, there's many different ways of doing so, but for us, we don't like drilling inside the interior of the Lexus, so we pick this location here. So there's a panel here, just pull it off gently, and that creates a space where you could route your lightning cable through. Very, very easy. And grab this back, and then just pop it back in. And you could adjust to however length you need. And we'll just leave it at this for now. And let's get behind the radio. Okay, as you can see, we got rid of the, the AC climate control unit up here. We pulled it out just so it gives us more room to work on. And the two connectors that we're gonna be working on is gonna be this connector and that connector. So simply grab a hold of this, let's pull it out. Same thing for the bottom. Bottom one can be a little tricky. All right, and get a hold of the adapter and the harness, everything we pre-connected er already earlier. Connect it here. And we're gonna daisy chain it to the radio and find the other open connector that we disconnected. Connect that to our piece, which will connect to the radio. And all our connectors are made from factory supply connectors. So they will all fit in nicely and click in like a factory connector. And let's not forget to ground this wire over here. Grab a hold of your eight millimeter and we are going to ground it on this bolt. All right. Okay, now that everything is connected, we are gonna wanna fit all our harnesses and adapters behind the radio. There's some room back here. There's also some room up here. And before you do that, make sure this is switched to TV for this model without factory navigation. All right, we just finished organizing all the wires and adapter behind this unit over here. And before we want to put everything back, just want to make sure that everything works. So just turn on the car, get your iPhone. If you have an Android, grab your Android. Okay, let's connect it. Phone is charging, which is a good sign. Okay. All right, looks like the phone is mirroring as it should. And now that we confirm that everything's working, let's put all our panels back to how it is by reverse order what we did to get to this. All right, we just finished putting all the panels back. Um, the phone is still mirroring as you can see right now. The, the lightning cable is coming out from the side. Um, depending on how much length you need, it's adjustable. Just push in whatever you don't need. Um, and when you first mirror the phone, if you, as you can see, the screen is not full screen because on default, 
it's not um, it doesn't go to full screen so let me show you how to adjust it click push down go left go to AV setting and then on this wide click on it right now it's on normal if we want to put it to stretch that will give you full screen go back all right actually let me go to full screen okay now as you can see it is now showing in full screen okay let me take this opportunity to do give you a quick demonstration on all the functions on this phone mirroring system so one function that you may use a lot is um, Google Maps so here we go it's Google Maps is working as it should everything has to be controlled from your phone you will get a turn by turn guidance Head east on Cheyenne Way toward Emory Ranch Road alright and then that sound just came out from the factory speakers in the sound system if you want to use um, YouTube stream some music so for YouTube and some other video players, you'll notice that automatically go to full screen mode. And then on your phone, it goes to airplay mode. So even if you lock your phone while you're playing YouTube, the screen remains playing. All right, and if you have Slimbox, it'll do the same thing. If you have Netflix, it'll also do the same thing. You could lock your phone, black it out, and your screen will remain to play the video that you were playing and the sound quality is actually better because this is uh, connected through RCA cables than compared to a Bluetooth connection so if you're an audio audiophile this is something that you might enjoy about this new system and just like any other new phones these days you can multitask so while the music is playing in the background, if you want to use your turn-by-turn -turn guidance, you can. And to remind you, all this is accessible and functionable while the vehicle is in motion. So even if your car starts driving, all this is going to still work. And also to remind you, um, this IF02EP is only compatible to the models without factory navigation. If you have a Lexus IS with factory navigation, the correct model number is the IF04EP and not the IF02EP that we installed today. Okay, well that concludes today's dem installation and demonstration of the IF02EP on this 2014 Lexus IS without factory navigation. If you have any questions, please contact us at info at beatsonicusa.com or and don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our YouTube channel, Beatsonic USA. Thank you.